What is the difference between a condominium and a landominium? Hi, it's Peter Shabri with the Shabri Group, and I'm going to explain to you right now the difference between that condominium and landominium homeownership opportunity. And it really boils down to one thing, walls versus land. That's the easiest way to think about the difference between a condominium and a landominium. In a condominium complex, usually you are sharing the walls with other people in that condominium. You own the land, you share the ownership of the land, and you share the ownership of the common areas, and then you own some extent of the walls. You may own the plumbing in between the walls, it may be owned by the condominium association, but you share walls with other people and you share ownership of the uh, common spaces within that building or within that community. Now, landominium, you typically are uh, single family in that you, uh, you don't have any walls attached to your unit and you own the land underneath that property. I should caveat this by saying, Condominiums have specific legal definitions. What defines a landominium can actually vary from developer to developer. So to be sure to look at those rules when you are looking at purchasing a landominium. The net here is that you generally own your own home and you own the ground that it's underneath. So what is the difference? How is, why isn't that not just a single family home versus something called a landominium? Uh, and that has to do with maintenance. In a condominium homeowners association, all of the exterior items are maintained by the condominium association. That is to say the roof, the exterior walls, any common space elements. Whereas in a landominium, you own all of your home, the interior and the exterior and the land underneath it. And so the only maintenance done by a landominium homeowners association is basically things like landscaping or management and maintenance of common area stuff. Maybe there's a swimming pool or a country club or something like that. That becomes the responsibility of the Land Aminium Homeownership Association. So how does that show, how does that kind of shake out in terms of cost of ownership? You're going to have a much higher homeowners association dues with a condominium because the homeowners association has to be able to budget for things like uh, exterior wall, roof repairs, the common maintenance stuff that is typically associated uh, with, a, with a single family home. So HOAs are gonna have higher homeowners association dues. Land and minimums will have much lower ones because that HOA is just managing the common elements of the homeowners association. So your HOA dues will be lower, but your cost of ownership will be higher if you're buying a home uh, that's gonna require regular maintenance versus a new home. And so you'll find that people who are interested in lower maintenance lifestyles will typically purchase new or newer homes in land and minimum communities uh, where they don't have to fuss with as much maintenance. So that's the scoop. If you have specific questions about land aminiums versus condominiums and how they may relate to you and your home ownership journey, shoot us an email, send me a DM. Uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks.